Hello everyone, welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about default constructor in Dart. Constructor is automatically called while we create an object. Default constructor is a constructor with no parameter. Let me share my screen and let's see a complete demo. Okay, here you can see the constructor which is automatically created by the Dart compiler. If you don't create a constructor is default constructor or default constructor has no parameters okay a default constructor is declared using the class name followed by parenthesis okay now let's do a practical demo in our previous section we already have learned how to create a default constructor but uh, here i am making this video because i want to make a dedicated video on default constructor so that you can understand it more clearly okay now let's create a default constructor in that okay here you can see laptop uh, is a class name and we have two properties here one is brand and another one is price and this is constructor and this is main method okay now first of all let me create a class called laptop i will say laptop dot draft okay and then you need to create a class called laptop this is our laptop class and let's write properties first okay let's write properties okay now fine and one property is brand and another property is double price okay now let's write question mark here okay okay now this question mark is to remove null safety we'll also discuss about null safety after this object oriented programming section okay uh, now let's move uh, let's create a constructor okay constructor with empty parenthesis okay this is a default constructor you do not need to create this constructor okay that is so smart that uh, it will create uh, this default constructor automatically this is for only demonstration purpose okay now let's create a main method here go ahead i'll say main and let's create a let's create object of that okay i'll say laptop l is equal to laptop okay our l is object now i'll say l dot brand is equal to del l dot price is equal to i'll say okay this one okay if i uh, don't uh, initialize the values of the properties then what happened let's run the program that laptop dot that okay here you can see nothing happens and if i print here something okay if i print constructor c called okay now if i run this program here you can see constructor call got printed okay this is default constructor if it does not have anything then there is no sense to write it okay if you want to execute something while creating object then you need to create a constructor with the help of default constructor you can initialize the values for example if you want to initialize the uh, laptop brand to na for example i'll say this dot brand is equal to i'll say just na okay and if i print l dot brand then it will print okay i'll just print this one if i print l dot brand and if i run this program here you can see na got printed in this way you can also use default constructor uh, in the next section we will learn parameterized constructor in detail and i hope you understood about default constructor uh, in real life the use of default constructor is very very less okay but if you understood this concept it will be beneficial for you so that 
I created this dedicated video for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any question regarding default constructor, then comment down below. Here is one problem, okay? One challenge for you. I hope you accept uh, this challenge and make your programming ability a lot stronger, okay? Okay, here you can see, try to create a person with two properties, name and planet, okay? One property is name, class name is person, one property is name, another property is planet, okay? You can declare both in a string type. Create a default constructor to initialize the value of planet to Earth. Okay. Initialize the value of planet to Earth. Like here, we initialize the value of brand to any. Okay. And create an object of class person. Create object of class person. We, we, we have created object of laptop here. Okay. Set the name to your name okay just set the name to your name like uh, laptop dot brand is equal to something you need to write uh, person uh, dot p dot name is equal to something and uh, just print name and planet okay i hope uh, you understood this challenge and i am sure that you will definitely solve this problem and if you have any question then comment down below and thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.